Hey, what's going on, people? This is your boy, man, Mike. And before we get started, please hit that subscribe button. Tell your friend to come chat Falcons football with your boy. And here are three things that I want to see from the Atlanta Falcons special teams. And first one is Matt Bryan. I just want to see him continue to do what he does well, and that's just be money. All right, money in the bank. All right, this guy, 42 years old, he just it's playing like it is, you know, like he's still 20 years old. This guy can kick 50 three 50 yards like it's nothing 42 years old this guy's still going strong so i want to see matt bryant continue to do what he does best and we can count on this guy to make a big kick at any freaking time especially when you're playing in that dome the guy's money period point blank second guy is Matt Bosch. He's one of these great athletes, even as a punter. This guy's just a terrific athlete. He is an excellent, excellent punter. Has one of the biggest legs in the league. But I want to see from Matt Bryant, Matt Bosher, I want to see, you know, less tackles. I know this is a little bit strange, a little bit awkward, but I don't want to see Matt Bosch as the first guy to make a tackle on special teams. Just not. It's just not a good sign. We were 30 second special teams last year dead freaking last they made two a lot of teams had too many big plays and matt barsha was one of the first guys down the field to make a tackle that can't happen again you cannot have that as a you know your, your opponent is one of the first guys to make a damn tackle all right that can't happen third is justin bethel all right the guy that we got from arizona to come in and be uh, one of those guys uh, again, the Falcons 32nd special teams. They did not play well. Special teams couldn't make a lot of tackles. And, you know, teams like the uh, Philadelphia Eagles, a lot of people made big plays in returning game. They could not tackle for anything. These guys couldn't tackle at all. So you bring in a, gay, a guy like Russell Gage, who is a terrific uh, special teams player, you know, L LSU. Uh, four year Olakun, the guy that you brought in, and a, a host of other guys that are that have speed, athletic guys who can provide that much needed element uh, with the you know at a team that players and you know a lot of fans don't recognize, but players know this that, that special teams is a vital vital part of a team, and it's you know for winning. You can go from, you know, a team can, you know, you start out at the, you know, the 25 yard line with a, uh, with a touchback. But if a guy runs a kick back, what good is it? It does, you're not going to have a successful team when you have a, a poor tackling special team. So uh, this is a vital part of the Atlanta Falcons team that has to improve if you want to get back to the Super Bowl. So, again, Matt Bryant, I want to see his consistency. I want to see Matt Barsha with no more freaking tackles. I don't want to see him want to be, be one of the first guys down to make a tackle, at special teams as your punter, and Justin Bethel. I just want to see Justin Bethel uh, continue to, you know, be one of those guys that you can count on uh, to make special team tackles. We don't want to see, uh, again, don't want to see Matt Bosher as the first guy down the field to make a tackle. Those are my three things I want to see from the special team. Let me know what you guys think. Who should be the returner in your uh, opinion? Um, leave your comments below. And let your boy Matt Mike know what's up, man. I'm gone, baby. Peace.